This is the world of the ant. Not just an insect, but a citizen. Look closely and you'll witness a triumph of organization, a society operating on a colossal scale. Our story begins deep within the earth, in the central chamber of the colony where the queen resides. She is the monarch, the tireless engine of this empire, but she doesn't rule through force or decree. She governs through chemistry. She secretes a potent cocktail of pheromones, invisible, airborne messages that regulate the entire colony. These chemical signals are the Queen's invisible crown, dictating the overall mood and health of the city. The youngest workers, fresh from their pupil stage, begin their careers as nurses. Their existence is spent in the warm, humid nursery. They clean, they groom, they feed. And how do they know the larvae are hungry? More pheromones, of course. Food is transferred through trophallaxis, a form of mouth-to-mouth -mouth feeding that is not just about nutrition, it's another vital channel of communication. As the nurses age, their bodies strengthen and their exposure to the queen's pheromones shifts. The instinct to excavate and build takes hold. They become construction workers. They don't need a foreman or a blueprint. If an ant encounters a loose piece of debris, it picks it up and carries it away. Since if it detects a gap or a weakened wall, it begins to patch it. The entire city is perpetually under construction and this is swarm intelligence at its finest. No single ant knows the architectural plan, but the collective the final career change comes for the oldest workers. Their tiny bodies are now nearing the they become foragers and soldiers. The expendable veterans are sent out into the hostile, giant-sized world above ground. Her solitary discovery is about to become a colony-wide mobilization. Scout doesn't simply run home. She lays back at the nest as she excitedly engages in trophallaxis with the waiting internal workers. Her message is amplified. The workers who receive her food sample and the trail pheromone residue immediately register the urgency and the quality of the discovery. Within moments, a trickle becomes a torrent. The sheer density of ants reinforcing the route strengthens the signal. This is positive feedback in action. The most efficient route to the best food source becomes a chemical highway. But the outside world is rarely accommodating. Suddenly, the chemical highway is threatened. The effect is instantaneous. The alarm pheromone triggers two primary behaviors. The defense in the soldiers who and evacuation in the smaller workers who retreat with the food they've already collected. The entire operation shifts from foraging to military defense in a split second, a living barrier forming against the threat. Leon, which is soon neutralized, subdued by the swarm, and perhaps even harvested for protein. The convalist. The food is secured. But a major challenge for a city of millions is climate control. In the absence of an air conditioning unit, the ants rely on collective ventilation. At strategic points, they stop, anchor their feet, and begin to fan the air, creating a coordinated, unidirectional airflow through the no one ant is designated as the chief ventilation officer. Instead, the internal temperature shift triggers a simple behavior in individual workers. When enough ants perform this simple task, the collective result is a functioning ventilation system that can drop the internal temperature by several critical degrees. For some ant species, the work goes far beyond simple foraging. Consider the leafcutter ants of the Amazon. These ants don't eat the leaves. They carry them back in long, vibrant lines to cultivate a specific species of fungus in underground chambers. See? They chew the leaves into a pulp, fertilize it with their feces, and cultivate a specific species of fungus in ants. In the gardens, the smallest ants, the minims, 
take on the crucial role of gardeners. They are so tiny they fidget. Their job is to constantly clean the fungus garden, nipping off invading molds and pests. They their movements guided by the delicate chemical balance of the fungus and the signals from their nestmates. If the mold pheromones rise, the cleaning frequency increases. If the fungus growth pheromones indicate a healthy crop, the cutting crews are chemically nudged to increase their harvest. Beyond the foragers and the farmers, every great ant city has its dedicated military. When a tugmacher, by rapidly tapping their mandibles or scraping parts of their gaster, a process called strigil they generate a wave of soldier ants is diverted from other duties, rushing through the network to the vibrational source. Their movement is guide to gum. This multi-layered communication, chemical for general mobilization, a cow for precise location, the entire system works without any central command. It is a stunning display of efficiency, driven by chemical coating. Yet, the ant achieves the same colossal tasks using a low bandwidth, chemical-based system. The segment. A single ant is a mindless automaton. The colony, the superorganism, is a genius. There is no individual greed, no conflict of interest over a better job, no hoarding of resources, only the insto. The next time you overlook a simple ant hill, remember the city of millions beneath. Remember the a complex chemical society of millions, working in perfect, elegant harmony.